Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something funny that I learned just now. Uh, I was tripped up by something I was seeing in a game that I was looking at via the Riot Timeline API. Uh, the data looks like this, and the game came from Dragoon. So thank you, Dragoon. Um, in here, I'll show you actually an easier way to see this. In here, we have um, a JSON file that has a nested dictionary. So it has metadata, stuff like the match ID uh, and the participants. And then it also has info, which is the meat of it, where it has frames and the frame intervals every minute. So every minute it's returning a new frame and each frame has events. The first frame only has the one event, which is the pause end. But as you go on, it has more and more, right? So some of the events are going to be things like skill level ups, level ups, champion kills, etc. Now, what I was looking at was champion kills. So first, I'm going to grab frames. And then what I want is uh, every frame for event in, no, hold on. Every, sorry, every event for frame in frames for event in frame events, which sounds confusing, but just getting every event that occurred essentially. And I'm going to say, uh, I want that to be a data frame. Also have to import pandas as PD. So I'll show you what that looks like. Event DF. So I have all the events here. All the ones that I care about are the ones that have the type champion kill. So these are all of our champion kills here. I'm going to reset the index so that I can see them numbered. So this is the first kill, second kill. Notice that the index is zero indexed, meaning it starts at zero. So this is kill number one, kill number two, kill number three. Uh, what I want to look at is kill number 29 in particular, which is index number 28. So I'm gonna say I want 28. I'm locating by the index 28 here, and I want to look at victim damage received in particular. Now this fight uh, is a fight between Zed and Galio. And in this fight, uh, this is cumulative damage. So Zed's Q did cumul cumulatively 639 damage. Um, this is Eclipse here. His Eclipse did 268 damage. This I believe is his R cast number one. It doesn't do any damage, but he casts it. I think that's what that is, can't tell. This is his cumulative basic damage. Um, his passive damage below the threshold. This is his E damage. This is his R pop. And then this is what I was curious about because I was confused. So I'll show you the fight. Here it is. Cool. Now, the reason why I was confused is because the participant IDs for all these are eight. Eight is Zed's participant ID. Um, it goes from one to 10. Eight is the red side mid laner in this case. Now at the bottom here, it turns into seven, but it still says the name is Zed. So I was really confused. Also prior to this, I thought that uh, these instances of damage were the single instances, which um, I learned is not the case, but I'm going to show you why this is funny. So what happened here is this is burning. What it is, is that is his red buff. So that 300 damage is the amount of damage that occurred throughout the fight. The reason why it says seven is because the red buff was given to him by participant ID number seven, which is his jungler. So Tarek clears this red buff. Zed has red buff now because of the new like void red buff thing. And when he's fighting, uh, that actually counts as Tarek participating in the fight, which if you're looking for solo kills, that was tripping me up for a bit. Um, it was any instance where a jungler was giving a buff to someone, that buff was counting as that jungler participating in the fight and it was tripping me up. So I wanted to show you because it's kind of funny. 
Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. Enjoy it.